Good morning. I know it's not morning for some of y'all who are watching, but it's my morning, and it is a very crisp morning, and it feels good. I have a window on this side, that on my right side, I have a window open as I sit in my infrared sauna. A lot of people are asking me, what am I sitting in? I'm um, trying to mention it in the beginning of my video. Somehow I'll fit it in there. So they won't ask me what it is. But anyway, it's a nice, cool morning. And it's just, it was a little bit too cool for me to have enough willpower to do my cold therapy this morning. I, I'm, I got slack. I did because... It's hard to do that. It's hard to jump in that cold shower, especially when you don't have the temperature in the house, like warm, really warm. It's comfortable in my house, but it would need to be warmer for me to jump in that cold shower. It's hard. Some days, I told y'all, some days it's just so hard to do. And this morning, that was just beyond me. I, I just couldn't do it. But I'll make up for it after this. I'll be all sweaty and everything and I'll go get in the shower and I will make sure that I stand under some cold water and I'll just have one cold shower instead of two today. That's okay. And for those who don't know, I'm doing I'm tr the Wim Hof method. Wim, W-I-M H-O-F-F, -F, Hoff, William Hoff. So it's it's a wonderful, wonderful method, and I recommend that to everybody. I watch all of his videos. I have his apps, downloaded his apps, and I have his books. That's how much I'm into William Hoff, and I'm very dedicated to that, and it, re it brings me a lot of benefits, a lot of really good benefits. Anyway, that's not what my video is about. My video is going to start with Chase. I don't really know who Chase is, and I'm just now hearing about Chase. And from what I'm hearing from him, I only had heard audio. I didn't actually see Chase, and I didn't see him talking when this audio was being listened to, I, I never did see, I didn't get to see him actually say these words, but it had a, the video on YouTube had a picture of Chase on the thumbnail and throughout the whole video, that one picture was there and there was audio of someone that was named Chase talking about he's positive, he, that he's really positive that grandma had Summer rescued from Dawn because of SA. And I listened to his story and about that the police know, that the FBI knows, that private investigators know where Summer is. And that she's alive and well. And supposedly that's where grandma's been going to when she leaves for, you know, long periods of time. She came home for three days and then she left again. And he's saying that that's where she's going is where Summer is in Indiana. And I don't want to give anybody any false hopes, but I just wanted to mention that I heard that. And the reason I want to mention it is because it gave me high hopes. I really hope he's telling the truth about that. I don't know if Grandma would go through doing that or not. That way, I mean, I believe she would take up for summer. But I don't know if Grandma would go that far, that far out. And my thoughts, this is just my thoughts on that part, is 
that if grandma was involved in helping rescue Summer by having someone to abduct her, to save her from Dawn, if that's true, then I do believe that Candace was also involved. I think that I really believe, Chase, I know you ain't going to believe this because I hear in your tone that you have a lot of confidence in Candace and that Candace is innocent and Candace is, you make Candace sound like a wonderful person. And so that suggests that you may be very close to Candace and you didn't have nothing nice to say about Dawn. So that suggests that you don't like Dawn very much, but your tone, that's what I gathered from hearing your voice, if that was your voice. Because on YouTube, you just never know. But even if... Candace was also involved in this rescue. I would have more respect for Candace than what I what I really have right now. Right now I respect her for, as a human being, but I don't have a, any other respect for her. And I, she hasn't given me any reason to. I mean, I haven't. You don't just get respect from people. You have to earn it. You have people have to have reasons to re, have respect to respect you. I respect you as a human being, and I mean by that I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna treat you like a human. But. I don't, whoever this Chase is, I mean, I don't feel the same way about Candace as he does. And he might know some things that I don't know about Candace. And I would feel really bad, and I will get on here one day, if I prove, if, if things turn out the way Chase says, and if Chase is telling the truth, then I will come back on this on YouTube and I will make a public apology for all of my thoughts, all of my my bad words, for all of my bad theories, my ugly theories that could have happened, possibilities. I will publicly apologize to both Don and Candace. And I'll go back and I'll look and I'll see if I owe anybody else any apologies. And I will apologize if I if it turns out that Chase is telling the truth. And I hope he is telling the truth because I love that idea. I love that idea. Because I do believe that it's true that Don did catch, I mean, that Candace did catch Don in the shower with Summer three days before she disappeared. And I believe that there was probably a big fight. I've said this in another video. Back, what, you have to go back and find it. I don't know. But I said it probably in, in the video where I, I, it was titled about Don taking a shower. I said it then, that she had to be furious. I would be, I would have been beating the hell out of him. I would have ended up in jail. Or, I know he would have. We might, probably both would have ended up in jail because I would have really hurt him, if not worse. He deserved... To go to jail immediately. Immediately. She should have called the police immediately. And even Chase mentioned that shower on, on his audio. He mentioned that. 
and some people didn't believe me. That video got a lot of views. And I, a lot of people commented and stuff, and they didn't believe me about that shower. They didn't believe it happened just because they hadn't heard about it. Somehow I saw I saw it on YouTube, and somehow I just saw it. I guess early after maybe some maybe people accidentally missed it. I don't know, but I saw it. I caught that. I was I think I was watching a live stream. When I learned that, I can't remember how I, exactly where I learned it. I think it was on Ziggy's live stream. But anyway, I'm just saying, I hope this is not just a plot to try to blame Grandma. Because I did predict that they would do that eventually. That they would try to blame Grandma. So part of me believes that. Maybe that is the purpose behind this story. Is that they're going to try to put this on Grandma and get her in trouble. And then they're scot-free. And I, I don't want Grandma to be in trouble. Even if Grandma did rescue... Some, some people say she had her abducted. And some people say she had her rescued. I like the rescued part because I want to believe that Summer is alive and well. And that's what, that's the hope I've been holding on to a little bit. I've got a little bit of hope, been having a little bit of hope. I've been keeping a little bit on reserve in hopes, even though in my heart I felt so strongly that Candace allowed something to happen to Summer. And then they all covered it up. And part of me still feels like that happened. Because it's possible that it could have happened. And it's also possible that what Chase is saying is true. We don't know yet if he's telling the truth. But I hope he is. I don't know if he is saying that he saw this happen. This lady coming down the hill with Summer. Running down the hill. With, um, and put, There was a getaway driver and a man in a truck. There was a getaway driver down there waiting. And then some lady comes running down the hill with Summer. That she abducted Summer. Slash rescued Summer because Grandma had just found out about the SA. And that would fit with if Candace really did find them in the shower and she became very furious. And there was a big fight, I'm sure, if that had happened. And that was the first time it had happened. I'm sure that there was a big fight about that. And that with Grandma living so close to them, I'm sure that Grandma knew about them fighting over that. And I bet anything that Grandma became very, very furious too at dawn. Of course, anybody would. And anybody who don't, you know, do that kind of stuff with the kids. I mean, I, I, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to spread false information, but I know I'm not the only one that's heard about this theory that's out there already. I just wanted to put my thoughts on it. But I hope it's true. I really do. And... But what I don't understand is the part about the police knowing about it. I think the police, if the police knew about it, they would have already informed the public that she had been found. They may not tell you everything, but they might tell you, tell you enough to let the public know that she's no longer a missing person. I don't think that the police would and the FBI 
would allow us all to just continue searching for her and working hours. I mean, I put in 30 hours a month with, I do my sauna treatments for one hour a day and I use that one hour to help raise awareness and discuss my thoughts on the Summer Wells case. And I mean, that's, if they knew that she was alive and well, then they're wasting 30 hours a month of my time. I don't think the police would withhold that information. They might withhold some of it, but I don't think they would just keep that away from the public that she was, and let us all believe that she's still considered a missing person. That don't, I don't think they would do that. And if, if you believe this story about grandma doing this, leave me a comment and tell me that you believe in it. Or just say agree or disagree. Let me see how many of y'all, how y'all feel. I'd like to know how my viewers feel about it. What do you think? Do you think it, that Chase's story is true? Or is that something that somebody told Chase? Like possibly Candace? Maybe Candace told Chase that story. And maybe Chase believes it. I don't know if Chase was an eyewitness or if he got his information secondhand. I'd like to know more about that. If anybody knows any more about that. Because I, I really do like that theory. Even though some people see that as being abducted and maybe that wasn't the right thing to do, the right way to go about saving her from Dawn. They could have done it legally. But it's also possible that if they had done it legally, that they, maybe they were afraid of losing her if they had reported it to CPS, who was already coming out. So it kind of sounds true to me. I'm not saying it is true. It feels true to me. I want it to be true. And I think that's why it feels true. Is because I want it to be true. So that's why I want to know what y'all think. Is it just me having false hopes? In, because I want to believe that she's okay? Do you think the police would keep that secret from us? And let us continue searching. And all the emotions that come along with being worried about summer. I don't, that would be awful if they let us keep going through this this long. It's been four months. And a lot of people are real worried about this child. And it would be so unfair and wrong for the police to keep that from us. So that's the one reason why I doubt this story. Because I don't want to believe that the police would do that to us. I think they would let us know that she was in custody or she was in a safe place and that they, it was still an ongoing investigation and that they would inform us or update us at a later time if it had if Chase's story was exactly the way he says. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that right now. And I don't want anybody really jumping on the hope train because I said that. I want everybody to keep some hope that some are still alive. I don't want everybody to give up and think that otherwise. So this is a possible theory and I hope it's true. But they an old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't do that. 
Don't put all put, don't put everything on this. Don't let everything ride on this yet. Because we really don't have enough information to know if that's true or not. But again, I hope it's true. To me, that was good news if it's true. And I and again, I hope that they don't this is not just part of a a plot to blame grandma. Because I have predicted that that would happen. That I feared that that would happen. So, about that, my thoughts are either Candace was involved and they, Grandma and her both had her abducted. Honestly, my real thoughts on that is when Candace called 911, in the 911 call, she stated that she went for a short walk, and when she came back, Summer was gone. And a lady was seen coming down the hill with the child. Right at the time that Candace went for a walk. And Candace is the one who said that she went for a short walk. I believe that Candace is the one who carried Summer down that hill and put her in a truck with somebody and they drove away with her. And when they drove away at that point, that's probably when the neighbor heard the scream. Candace probably fell to her knees if it happened that way. She she would have probably fell to her fallen to her knees and just scream and cry because her daughter was just sent away. I mean that would hurt if and it's sad that she felt like that was the only option. And that would have been a very painful decision to make if you felt that legally you had no standing, that you couldn't tell what really happened, that you really was afraid, and that that was your only hope in rescuing her. It's really sad that you didn't know that Really, that wasn't the proper way to handle the situation. And maybe that is where Candace's guilt is coming from. I feel like it's guilt. I, I said guilt, and I didn't mean to say guilt. I meant to say anger. And I really, since I already blurted it out, I feel like her anger is coming from guilt and not remorse or mourning and grieving. I don't think that's where the anger's coming from. I think it's guilt. I've been thinking that for a while. But I was thinking that the guilt part must have meant that maybe she did something to her or something happened on her watch. And that was where the guilt was coming from. But now I'm thinking that if Chase's story is true, then Candace, let me just say, I think she's feeling guilty over knowing what happened to Summer. And I like the idea better that Chase, what Chase, Chase's story and then my thoughts on that story, I like that idea better. And I would respect her, even though it wasn't the right thing to do. She's probably feeling really guilty about shipping her off. And maybe that's why she's so angry at Don. Is because it was because of him that she had to do that. She felt that she had to do that. And then right after that, she loses all three boys. 
And from what I understand, that that was something due to Dawn. Not, not Candace, but Dawn is what I heard. And I just also wonder what does grandma think? I haven't heard what grandma thinks. And why won't she talk? This is her granddaughter that she lived in right next, so close to that you might as well say she lived with her. And I mean, they, they shared the same yard and everything. They spent a lot of time together. And from the pictures and the stories I've heard, Grandma loves Summer. She loves those kids. And I believe that she's, she loves Candace. And from all the bad things I've heard about Dawn, I don't blame Grandma if she don't like Dawn. And it must be hard for Grandma to even stay up there with Dawn, knowing that Dawn don't like her and she don't like him already. They had a, a rocky relationship before this said shower incident and rescue incident. It sounds true. It sounds probable. Just want to know what y'all's thoughts on that is. So, that's all for this video. And thank you for watching. And I'm about to do another video about another subject. Instead of having them together and making the video too long. I'm just going to split them up into two videos, and it'll be shorter videos. So, I'll be back if you want to see my next video. Just stay tuned. And thanks for watching.